Hey everybody, I am Everything Coding, and today we are going to be continuing the Python 3 tutorial on how to program in Python. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys variables and also math. So, variables are a simple thing, but uh, before we touch up on variables, I want to uh, talk more about printing. I guess I didn't really explain it clear enough is what I felt. So. Basically, what we can do is everything after this word print will be printed, but you don't necessarily have to print uh, just everything inside quotations. So, obviously, if we save this and run this, it's going to. Sorry, it had to restart this. Uh, print hello world. We'll just close this window right here, and that is what we told it to print. So, anything after this print will be. Uh, printed so if I do 2 plus 2 what should happen is press F5 prints 4 because this is also something we'll be talking about towards the end of the video is Python can do math so 2 plus 2 obviously is 4 and that's exactly what was printed was the output of 2 plus 2 so let's talk uh, we'll, we'll tie together the printing in this so I'm gonna have uh, instead of printing any math or uh, any string or list or group of characters, symbols or numbers, which is this right here, that's a string. Instead of printing that, I'm going to print x. Now, what we can do with x is I can set x equal to a string. So I'll just say Python is great. And basically what it's going to do is it's going to print the value of this this is our variable name and this is the value of the variable which is the string python is great and it's going to print the value of x so if I press F5 what's gonna happen is it's going to print python is great just like I told you it's going to print the output of this so there's a little bit about variables but strings aren't only about variables. Now, I'm assuming most of you guys have taken at least some form of algebra. A variable is just a placeholder, well, in algebra, a placeholder for a number. So, but in Python, you can set a variable equal to a number, which is, or an integer, as it's called in here, which is any whole number or negative number. So, if I want to set this to negative 12, it will be set as 12. So, I'll just call this my int set in 12 but it cannot have a decimal place and we will have another variable type it's called a float so if you do want a uh, variable what happens is you can do 12.0 and this is considered a float but you cannot have an integer have a decimal in it or else that will not be considered a float so another variable type is a string like we said before so close my string set that equal to hello and we have this so we have string float and integer but another variable type is called a boolean which we will talk about in a few episodes from now uh, we get into I wouldn't I don't want to say complicated but we just talk more about booleans because they're more there's more stuff to talk about so we'll just call this my bool and basically you can set this to false or well true or false a boolean is anything that is tr set uh, anything that is true or false so if I do my other bool and set this to true in Python you can see that first of all these highla uh, highlighted orange false is highlighted and true is highlighted because Python knows that you are setting this a as a boolean so uh, in Python it has to be capital it can't be lowercase then you'll see it doesn't highlight anymore because it doesn't know you're talking about a boolean so if we print so X doesn't work because we don't have a variable named X anymore but if I wanted to print my int we can print that and what will pop up is 12 because that is the variable or we are setting 12 as our value for my int now uh, we can also print my float it will just print 12.0 uh, 
and if I go ahead and do that, we'll see 12.0 is printed. And we've already done print my string. It's just the same as saying hello, except to set into a variable. So my string will just print hello, but I'm you guys have already seen that enough. Now if I print my bool, this will output false because that is this. So basically print just prints anything that you tell it to. In this case we're telling it to print the value of a variable like I've said multiple times. So we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about math. So uh, in Python this is a single line comment and basically what a comment does is ignores uh, this is just for the user to read. Uh, the interpreter doesn't read this its code so anything you type in here will not be made so if I say in a comment print and then put in these and do hello world you will see the only thing that gets printed out is false because this is a comment and is being ignored so we're going to do a little bit of math and in between episodes I will go ahead and separate these two files right here so in Python you can do um, different math functions so we have add I'm going to call this sub so add sub is you use a hyphen to uh, do that I'm gonna use a variable called mult and do two use the asterisk and then do that and then div for divide so you use forward slash for that so if I want to print like I did before add you will see that it will print 2 plus 2 but it actually prints the output which is false or not false my bad I was reading this it actually prints the output 2 plus 2 is 4 so if I want to show you how to do um, how to divide you'd think that okay so 2 divided by 2 is 1 but in Python if you have a single slash it's going to print it as a float. What you want to do, if you want to keep it as a whole number or an int, or an integer, you do two forward slashes or division symbols, whatever you want to call it, and this should turn this float into an integer. So, if I press F5, it prints 1 instead of 1.0 like we had before, just because of these two. So, we'll change this to 4 and 3. So now we have another thing called a modulus, or I'm just going to call it a mod for short. Uh, what this is, is it's a percent sign, and it goes, and, and so division tells you the answer of the division problem, but what a modulus does is tells you what the remainder of a problem is. So if I go ahead and do div, so you can see we will get a decimal. So if I go ahead and print div, and then I go ahead and print mod. Oh my goodness, I cannot type today. Press F5, you will see that the division problem of 4 divided by 3 is 1.3 repeating, but the mod of 4 divided by 3, or the remainder, is 1. Now, one thing I also forgot to mention, when you use double uh, division symbols, and it turns it into a whole number, it's going to round down. So you're going to see this is 1.3. Well, it could, if it was, say, 1.5, so if we do like 3 divided by 2 or whatever, 3 divided by 2, and we do 3 and 2, you're going to see that, well, first, you'll see the variable, not the variable, the value is 1.5 that is 3 divided by 2 but if so in math you would round anything 0.5 or up would round up so that would be technically 2 if you were to round up but what Python does is we're just going to print this and like I said it's going to round it to a whole number it's going to round it down to the nearest whole number not up even if it is past 5 or is 0.5 it will still round it down so then that's what the remainder is. The remainder of 3 modulus 2 is 1. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. We talked about variables, the different types, and math. And I also went over printing a little more. So I will see you guys in the next one where we will do a little bit more about strings and hopefully a little bit more about math. 
I can get into some of the cooler things in math and Python. Please leave a like and comment if you have any questions or are confused about anything in this video. And I will see you guys next time.